All right, let's talk about how to make a conditional logic quiz. Sometimes people also call this a branching logic quiz, a skip logic quiz. It's all the same thing. I'm pretty stoked to talk about this because I've been working on my own branching logic quiz for the last three days. I have one that I'm pretty proud of and I want to show it to you and also go through the process of how to build one for your business. My name is Josh. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Interact Quiz Builder. We started 10 years ago and now we've helped about 10,000 plus brands build quizzes that have generated more than 80 million leads. So we've been around the block a few times. I've seen a bunch of branching logic quizzes come out. Everything from a drone company that had like 80 results selling commercial drones, super important to recommend the right one using branching, all the way on the other side to one that was recommending website templates. They had like 148 results. And then for our own product, we actually use one to recommend a quiz template that's got like 48 results. But I'm going to show you one that has three branches because this is a much more typical use case where you just have a few branches that you're doing and you can see it on my screen here, um, my branches. And this is more typical because it's more in line with what our average customer would do. Not that anybody's average, everyone is great. <laughs> but let's look at this. So I'm going to zoom in on my map here. I have it zoomed out so you can see more of it, but I'm going to zoom in and just show you what's going on here. So this is my quiz. It is, well, I'll show it to you. It's a growth plan generator quiz. And this is a really typical use case for SaaS or business coaches. Like, let me generate a growth plan for you with my quiz. Pretty proud of this. Spend a lot of time on it. <laughs> um, you can click build your plan. It's going to ask you these questions. What stage of a business are you in? So now let's go back over to interact and look at this. This is the first question in my branching logic quiz. This one doesn't branch. It just goes straight to the next one. The first three questions of my quiz are just for information gathering because I want to know these things about my customer and that's it. And this is super common, by the way, a lot of branching logic quizzes have one branch, like literally only one thing is actually doing the logic. The rest of it is just for gathering data because quizzes gather you a bunch of good data. So. That's the first question. Then what's your preferred method of growth is the second one. What type of business do you run? Do you know exactly who you sell to is the fourth question. So by the fourth question, this is where the first branch comes out. And basically it's a yes, no. So if you do know exactly who you sell to, then I just move you on to the next question. If you don't know exactly who you sell to, then my recommendation is going to be, you should get to know your customers better. That's my growth plan recommendation for you. Stop everything else before you know, until you know your customers really, really well. So that's how that works. Then I continue on. Do you have an inbound content engine? Again, basically yes, no. If yes, then I keep you moving. If no, then I recommend creating an inbound content engine. And then third question here that has a branch on it. Are you overwhelmed at work? Yes or no. So no is I can't help you because if somebody's got these three things figured out, then you've surpassed me and I want to learn from you. And so I send them to a, you know, I can't really help you one. Um, and then if it's a no, like, or if they are overwhelmed at work, then I send them to a guide on how to win back some time and a video on that. So here's what the rest of it looks like when I take the quiz itself. So we're live. What's your preferred method to grow? Okay, now here's the first branching question. I'm going to choose, oh, that's not the first one. I'm going to choose, um, yes, I could talk about, so this is not going to branch me off. But then the next one, I'm going to choose no, and the quiz is going to end. So I'm going to click this, and it's going to end. Now, the end of it is where the lead capture form comes up. This is where I can ask people if they want to get on my weekly growth newsletter. This has an average conversion rate of 40%, which is pretty good. So... That's why I have this here. There's a skip option, so I'm going to skip it and then see my results, which is create a growth engine. I have a video here that I embedded from YouTube. I can click that and watch it right here, or I can keep going down and then click this button to read more on creating a growth engine that links to another post on my site. So this is how it works. Um, that's kind of the long and short of it. Now we have much more information on like the strategy behind how to write these questions, how to come up with an idea for the quiz in a blog post that I'll link, but that's kind of separate from how the logic works. 
I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how the logic works so that you can implement this in your business. Like I said, this works really well whether you have something super complex like you're recommending one of 80 drones or you're just looking to do something like what I did where it's just really simple and straightforward and you just have a few branches and you want to be able to recommend the exact right thing to the right person using that branching skip logic function.